While good performances here in Calgary will help the men secure a spot on the team, it's come down to the math for the women. Nancy Damianova trails first place Elise Hoffner hips by just a few points. An average vault score here of 13.6 will move the Montrealer a little more than two points behind. And she has it more than enough and that gets high fives from coach Catherine Dussault. Two years ago, Elise did what no other Canadian woman has done before. She won a medal at the World Championships, and it came on this event beam. She didn't pick up any points earlier on uneven bars, so this will be the last chance to get some breathing room between herself and Nancy. The fall means she won't increase her Olympic total. You panicked. Instead of just stopping at one and slamming it back, you panicked. And I mean, it didn't have to fall. I mean, you could have, could have stuck after one, but you panicked and it went loose for that one split second and it's on the floor. The rest was beautiful. You okay? Yeah. No. Dang it. While Elise and Nancy are preoccupied with getting their coaches to Beijing, Christina is still hopeful a career best performance might give the other two something to worry about. It's a great routine, and the score of 15.5 will give her seven more points. But in the end, it won't be enough to catch Elise and Nancy. So the only thing now left to decide as they head to the final event, floor, is which coach will be going. Some may see it as nothing more than a perk. But to the athletes in this high-pressured world of elite gymnastics, and who've trained with these same coaches for years, it's everything. Before Nancy heads to the floor, Francine Buffard pulls out her calculator, trying to figure out exactly what she'll need to move ahead of Elise. She'll need a score of 14.5 to take the lead. Does that affect the strategy of, of the routine? No, not at all. Not at all. Not at this point. We won't change anything in a routine. We will uh, just keep going what she's trained on. This is not something we can change. Oh, add something because, uh, no, no, no. We cannot do that. We've trained this routine uh, many times. I'm going to go with that same routine. But we're very happy right now. Relieved. It's all come down to this for the 17-year-old Montrealer. Nancy not only has to impress the judges, she's got to leave them in awe. On the very last routine, she moves ahead of Elise and secures an Olympic spot and also wins the right to take her coach along with her. As for Elise, her Olympic journey is bittersweet. For the top two women, it's a reversal of fortune. Big all of the work that I've done and uh, that we have done as a team to all the year and today, the last day, it's, uh, it's amazing. I don't know. It just, I just don't realize it yet, but I think it will come, uh, I don't know, I'm just so happy. Yeah. For Catherine Dussault, it will be her very first chance to take athletes to an Olympic Games. At least you don't look like someone who just found out that they're positively going to the Olympic Games. You look a little disappointed. I had a bit of a rough day today. I didn't do everything I was hoping to do. and. The top, the top, there's top two girls get to go, and then the top girl gets her coach to go. So I think Nancy's ahead of me now. So my coach doesn't get to go with me, which is a huge thing. But I mean, I can't complain because only two girls get to go, and I'm still one of them. So I mean, it, that's amazing. Still, I'm really excited. It's just sad because my coach is a huge part of everything I've done. It's a dream finally realized for the winner of the Olympic points race. Meanwhile, Olympic champion Kyle Schufelt comforts Elise, well aware of the roller coaster of emotion the young Olympian is now confronting. 
After a hard-fought race, Nancy Damianova and Elise Hoffner Hibbs will head off to Beijing in August. Carol Angela Orchard now turns her attention to getting Elise ready for the games and is just relieved her athlete has earned herself a spot on the team. Joining Nancy and Elise will be trampolinist Jason Burnett, Karen Coburn and Rosie McLennan. And for the eight men who hope to represent Canada in artistic gymnastics, they'll continue their delicate balancing act until the team is named in early July. Now let's go back to Olympic host Scott Russell.